Lions TV, full time from the den. One thing it definitely wasn't today was flat. Oh no, it wasn't. I mean, I think New Harris, I think he really gave the players kick up the kick up the backside after the last few performances. I think he told them, right, listen, you really need to wake up because these games are coming thick and fast and you know we're not we're not gaining any points. And I mean today, like something I've been complaining about for a long time is taking our chances and today we took our chances and you know, Romeo he took his goal really well. The head I brilliant header and Gregory done well with his goal for all three goals were, um, were spot on and um, I, you can see the quality in their team Dan I think you can see wider at the top like at, at points in the game there was I was seeing like about five or six of their players in our in our box and I was thinking they're committing themselves yeah, but they were yeah. quite open um, at the back and that's where we uh, that's where we took advantage yeah, 100%. and the thing I, I will say as well like we, we took the lead there we, we, we're low on, we might be low on confidence we've been struggling to as such we took the lead against them. Then when they come back into it, people start going, why are we sitting back? Why are we? we wasn't sitting back. You're playing against the top side in that division. You score, they're going to come back at you. The game swings back and forth. And, you know, they, they couldn't make it count when they was on top. Gregory sort of out of nowhere got us back on top, winning that ball back on the halfway line, slotting in Romeo. The rest was issue. Romeo, for you, got to stay on the team now. Oh, yeah, big time. I think, like, as uh, my dad said, like, at the beginning of the game, because he was a bit nervous. But I think all it takes, you've got to, give people like a chance you know once he gets in the run of games once he gets into the thick of things it'll be it'll be alright I mean second half you could see he grew he grew into the game and started he got a bit more confident started playing like, a lot more better but I think as you were saying like when when they was coming when they was coming forward to us when they was attacking at us our midfield was breaking up the game really well I thought Tunnicliffe I thought like the magician and man I'm saying he's been missing I thought he played brilliant today I think I thought he was I thought he was a man matched by a mile um, I think Ferguson for me, still off the pace. I think. It, Do you know what? I didn't think it was one of his worst. He put a lovely, lovely couple of crosses in. Yeah, he did. Yeah. But and I say it allowed Meredith to bomb on him, him having a bit of yeah. balance, someone with him who could defend a bit better. But uh, you know, if his job done for me, where we are now in the league was 19th before today. People were complaining. If we finish 19th, I'm over the moon with that. I'll take that all day long. And like being in this league, I think like and being competitive. Like I mean, getting these wins today, obviously get. Make make like get up better performances away from home. Get get the wins in away. But still, I think we deserve to be here, Dan. You know we're here for a reason. So, you know t today like there's there's no shocks when we beat beat any teams. I think we like I said, just take our chances. We need to start taking our chances. Once we do that, we'll be we'll be fine. Like we'll be sweet. Yeah. Well, listen, it must have been a win because there was chance of soup with Neil, I heard him. Oh, <laughs> Dan. Come on, you lions. Come on.